It's helped around 8,000 Australians move from silence to sound. The bionic ear reaches a milestone this week and one Tamworth boy has every reason to celebrate. This is Lachlan Beaton in 2009. Lachlan was born at just 26 weeks with cerebral palsy and profoundly deaf. At two and a half, a cochlear implant gave him the gift of sound. Today, he's counting his blessings. One, One two, three, four, five, six. When it comes to the implants, um, yeah, it's a... It's a gift, really, to be able to give our child hearing. The five-year-old has since received his second bionic ear. It works by sending an electrical stimulation to the auditory nerve. It's then interpreted as sound by the brain. A life changer for Lachlan. <laughs> I mean, pretty much if he didn't have the implants, we wouldn't be where we are today. He wouldn't be at school. Um, we would have to learn, but, like every sign language, where now we only use basic sign language because we, um, we rely on a lot of verbal stuff. Lachlan's one of almost 200,000 people around the world who can now hear because of this invention. It's 30 years since a group of Australian scientists made the medical breakthrough, improving the quality of life of so many. Like now he can tell us when he's thirsty or when he's hungry, he'll say eat, drink, um, things like that. So it does help <laughs> being able to verbalise and talk and, um, and for us to be able to communicate with him, let alone his brothers, to have that normality in life. The goal for the next five years, join his younger brothers in a mainstream school. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Claire Barnes, Prime 7 News.